Hi, I'm Dennis DiCicco for Sky and Telescope Magazine, here at the 2016 Northeast Astronomy Forum, better known as NEAF. And right now, I'm over at the Mead Display, and I'm speaking with Scott Byram, Director of Sales. How are you doing, Scott? I'm doing great. How are you doing? Excellent. Listen, you guys always have a very big display, lots of telescopes, a lot of exciting things to look at. Tell me what you want to show me. Well, what we really want to feature today is some of our high-end products and really explain some of the, uh, the features of those items that maybe not be that well understood. Great. Let's go take a look. Okay. So what we want to talk about is the Alex 600, which is our state-of-the-art ACF schmidt cassegrain telescope. We have uh, a lot of great features in this telescope, including our Starlock, which is our integrated auto-guiding system. And the telescope has a dual-speed Crayford focuser. It also has a split fork design that makes it easier to disassemble, take the optical tube off the telescope, makes it easier to set up into a stow. So basically you've got the wedge at the bottom, you've got the motorized base with the fork arms, and then it separates so you can take the tube assembly off, right. makes it all relatively lightweight so you can set it up individually. So the beauty of the Starlock is that because it is fully integrated with the drive system, it gives you full-time auto-guiding. And when you do a slew to an object using the hand controller, it is it gives you high precision pointing automatically with the Starlock. Yeah. I know, I've had an opportunity, in fact we just reviewed this in the magazine, and Starlock, to say it's an auto-guider, is downplays all of the things that it can do. Because when you slew the telescope, it identifies the target, puts it right in the center of the field of view, and it's a completely autonomous guiding system. I mean, you don't do anything, it does it all on its own. It finds the guide star, sets the necessary exposures, and really keeps the telescope tracking. It's an amazing piece of equipment. It's even more than that, Dennis. Actually, one of the other things that's nice about the Starlock is that it will give you assisted drift alignment. So it will actually find two stars and it will actually do a true drift alignment and help you to adjust the wedge when in an equatorial mode so that it will help you to get even more accurately polar aligned. Yeah, and that's what you need when you're doing photography and imaging. Right. I mean, if right. you're just doing casual visual observing, you can use Starlock yeah, to get everything centered in the eyepiece. But yeah, for the polar alignment, the drift alignment, it's a nice piece of equipment. And you don't, no external computer. All the electronics are built into the telescope. And that's it. You don't need any third-party software or anything else. It's all built in. Built in. Just put in the plug in the power and turn it on and go. So in addition to setting it up equatorially, if you want to do photography, you can also set this scope up and use it as an altazimuth mount for visual observing. That's right, especially if you're doing casual observing. All right. And Starlock still works there to precision point the telescope at the object That's right. you want to look You still at. get your high precision pointing. Yeah. And the nice thing about altazimuth mode is you don't have the wedge. The telescope's easy to set up, quicker to set up. That's right. Yeah. It's really a very nice system. Now this is the 12 inch, but it's That's available right. in other sizes. Yeah, that's right, it comes in a 10, a 12, 14, and also a 16 inch. Wow. So we were talking about the apertures in the LX600, but we also have these same telescopes on our LX850. And the LX850 is on a German equatorial mount, and we have a 10, 12, and a 14 inch on this, on this mount. And this has all the same feature set with Starlock. All the drift align, all the autonomous guiding, everything that is in the LX600 is in this, just this is a German equatorial map. That's right. All right. And the, another advantage of the German equatorial, in addition to the telescopes you have, you can put any telescope you want on this mount. That's right. It has a Los Mandy style dovetail plate, so you can mount any optical tube you want on it. Yep, including your refractors and... That's right. We do sell it with 130 millimeter APO, but you can put any APO or any other uh, optical tube you want on it. All right. And of course, any telescope you put on still has star lock all the features. So if you had your own homemade telescope tube you wanted to put on this, you'd get all the advantages of Starlock with the LX850 mount. That's right. You can either mount the Starlock on the, on the saddle plate, or you can piggyback it on top of the optical tube. All right. Really nice system. Hey Dennis, the next thing we'd like to show you today is our new ETX Observer line. And this is our ETX90 Observer. And some of the key differences from our earlier iterations of the ETX uh, products is that this product has a removable optical tube. We have two quarter 20 studs that allow you to interchange the optical tubes in the mount. So this is the 90 millimeter. What other scopes do you have that you can put in here? Uh, the ETX Observer also comes in an 80 millimeter refractor. All right. And you said you could put in the Coronado Solar Scope no, because, if you wanted to. Yeah, because the tubes are removable, you can put in other tubes, even a PST. Anything that will fit inside here. That's All right. right. What are some of the other features of this? I noticed on the back, 
that you've got the ability to, you've got an eyepiece and it looks like you've got a port that you can put a camera on. Yeah, all the ETXs have a photo port that's on the back and it has a flip mirror that allows you to flip the image between the eyepiece or to the photo port. So you could be looking in, flip it and take a picture? Right. All right, focus are on there obviously. So some of the other big changes that we have with the ETX Observer is that it now comes with the AudioStar computer controller. That a, has a 3,000 object database, but it also has four hours of multimedia content. Larger telescopes are able to resolve more details of the cloud structure. It is 66 by 60 arc minutes in size. So with AudioStar, you've got four hours of recordings. You can listen to dialogue about the objects that you're looking at. That's right. So while you're slowing to Jupiter, it'll tell you a little bit about it. Deep sky objects, solar system, the moon. That's right, there's 30,000 objects and you have four hours of audio content talking about the most popular objects. But not only does it have the audio, but it also scrolls across the LED display. So you can watch this stuff in the hand control and read it if you don't care to listen to it. That's right. And you can you can toggle one off and the other? That's right. You so you don't, have, you don't have to listen to the audio if you want a quiet experience. That's right. Oh, that's really nice. That's a lot of telescope. How expensive is this? Yeah, the ETX 9V Observer retails for $499. Wow, $499. And it comes as a complete package? Complete package. It has a full height tripod, has a tilt plate for polar mode, and it also includes a hard carry case and two eyepieces. Two eyepieces. So everything you see here plus That's $499. Right. That's a really great deal. All right, what else you got? Well, let's talk about our Lightbridge Minis. All right, let's go. Okay, so our Lightbridge Minis, these are new this year. They just came out in December. And what's nice about these is we have three different models. They're tabletop Dobsonians. Uh, we, it comes in an 82 millimeter, 114, and 130 millimeter. And this is the 114? This is the 114. The nice things about these guys, they're very lightweight, portable. The 130 and the 114 actually have a removable tube. So these are easy to store, take away. You can use these on a, something else. The slides back in. So what's nice is they come out of the box fully assembled. They include a red dot viewfinder and one eyepiece. All right. And of course the mount, looks like you can vary the friction on the mount. That's right. It. Yeah, it's adjustable on the top and uh, the altitude and right. then the azimuth base. All right. Nice little scope. You can use it on tabletop. Absolutely. All right. It's a good uh, conversation piece. It's just something you can throw around, throw out on a table at a party and do some casual observing. All right. And I noticed too, it's standard one and a quarter inch eyepieces, so you can use any eyepiece in it, standard right. eyepiece. It's a very nice system. What are the prices on these? The 82 millimeter starts at $59, the 114 is $149, and the 130 is $199. Wow, really nice. Dennis, I got one more thing I want to show you. What? So what we're introducing new this year is our Stella Wi-Fi adapter. This will be used with any of our AutoStar computer controlled telescopes, and all the way back to our earliest LX200s, right through all our current products. Real? Oh, so it's, it retrofits all the way back to the LX200s? Absolutely, LX absolutely. So anybody right. that's ever owned an LX200 can now get Wi-Fi. All right, so this means you can plug in your telescopes and then operate them from any of your wireless devices, phones, phones and tablets. And tablets. Yeah, so, right. So what platforms does this support? The Stella Access app will run on both iOS and Android. All right, so you can do it on your iPhone, you can do it on your Android phone, and tablets, any of the yeah. tablets and stuff like that. That's right. That's really cool. So you've got star charts, and it's all all the go-to functions. Right. Everything that you want to do from your hand box, you can do from the iPad or, or and a tablet. Gee, that's great. Listen, Scott, I want to thank you very much for telling me about all of your products. Thank if you, people want more information, they can go to your website? They can go to our website at www.mead.com. All right, that's great. Thank you. I'm Dennis DiCicco for Sky and Telescope Magazine here at the 2016 Northeast Astronomy Forum.